Hey my pregnant mommies <laughs> and welcome to week 22. How are you doing? Have you gone to the doctor? I mean how have your doctor visits gone? By now most of you who are watching will know if you're having a boy or a girl. For those who are having a girl, congratulations. For those who are having a boy, congratulations as well. But if you have been following my blog, you know that for me, this is my second pregnancy. And this time around, we decided that we will not be knowing the sex of the baby. We want it to be a surprise. Um, some of you may be wondering, okay, you won't know the sex of the baby, but... Um, how would you shop for clothes? How would you know how to decorate the nursery? Well, there are mutual colors that you can use. I'm wearing one right now, yellow. You can use blue because both girls and boys, blue. Um, green, browns, um, turquoise. There are lots of colors that um, my husband and I can use to decorate the nursery or to buy clothes in, in preparation for the baby. Um, so what's new with you? Well, for me, week 21, the end part of week 21, I've been feeling dizzy. And it, that feeling spilled over into week 22 because even though I'm 22 weeks and about two or three days, I feel so dizzy. Like if I stand for too long, I feel dizzy. If I sit for too long I feel dizzy if I'm like lying down and I like get up whether I just spring up which I technically can't <laughs> or I slowly get up to go do whatever I still feel a little bit dizzy um, I haven't spoken to the doctor as yet about it because I will be going to the doctor on Wednesday and yes you will be coming as well <laughs> because I will be videoing that journey as well so you also get to hear the baby's ultrasound like the last video that I did you guys tag along um, so I'm planning on going in on Wednesday and just asking um, you know is it normal I'm feeling really really dizzy I've noticed also that my feet are kind of swollen like my toes are a little bit swollen it's not like if you touch it like this you won't really see the the dent you know when your skin is really swollen and you touch it like this you can see the dent well, for me, if you touch my toes like this, you won't really see the dent. That it's terribly swollen, but it is somewhat swollen. So I'll be also talking to my doctor about that. And if you mummies out there are having the same issue, rest assured, I will come back with um, the answers that my doctor gives to me. And you can compare with your doctor what your doctor says as well. That's basically it for week 22. Just having a little bit of dizzy spells here and there. Um, I still feel hungry <laughs> I still feel very much hungry as I said I'd, I'd eat like every two hours is that bad oh my god I know right but I eat literally like every two hours I'm like so hungry <laughs> um, oh let me just say in case you didn't know week 22 your baby can officially hear what's happening around him or her Yay! that means that if it's your second child or your third child you can have big brother or big sister sing to your your tummy the baby will hear um the baby can hear you already yes but as for um noise outside the womb like play music i suggest that you play music for the baby um have your spouse or your partner um, talk to the baby so that the voice can be familiar um, they say that if you play the same music over and over again when the baby comes out the baby will be able to recognize that music well I am so going to put that to the test <laughs> I download this app and I'm playing that music of its piano and um, piano with I think it's a river background so it's both nature and the piano together so I play that music like every night because I really really want to see that if when this baby comes out if the baby is familiar with the song so I play that music over and over you can you can play a particular music for yourself or you can read a particular story over and over or you can sing or try to sing <laughs> 
or home to your baby your baby is officially hearing everything all the conversations about him everything <laughs> officially hearing it now so that's something wonderful for us mommies and also for the persons around us because they can kind of bond more um, to the baby knowing that the baby is actually hearing what they're saying um, what else did I want to talk about oh when when are we planning to go shopping um, we're planning to go shopping around 26 weeks yeah about that time I don't want to go right now I mean it's really rainy in Jamaica anyway so we can't really go out and do much walking and shopping so I think 26 weeks for me personally 26 weeks is good um, I will be showing you what I the other items that I buy for the baby and I'll, I'll also show you um, the what's in my bag my hospital bag the things that I bought to go in the bag Things that you can buy also to put in your hospital bag so around 26 weeks which is not far from now like four or five weeks from now I will be doing that video and um, you will see all right um, it's time for the tummy shot let me go get the, the inch measure hold on so come <laughs> I think I'm getting big. <laughs> I think I'm getting huge. <laughs> Anyways, my mommies, I hope you are enjoying your pregnancy. Um, some of you may be having complications, but just look on the bright side. You have a life inside of you that's growing, a new person, someone that I'm sure you're excited um, to meet. So just think about the good times that you're planning to have with your baby. And just enjoy the journey. If you're having a nauseous feeling, um, terrible heartburn still. I mean, I haven't been experiencing heartburn, but I've heard about some um, mommies who are having like really, 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 really bad heartburn. Um, what I suggest that you do, well, that happened to me in my first pregnancy. So what I suggest that you do, mommies, to drink milk, not cold milk, drink warm milk. After having the meal, um, don't have the meal and then go straight to lie down because then the acid will just come right back up and that burns the stomach as well so what I suggest that you do after eating dinner just sit up and just drink a glass of warm milk that normally helps well it helped me with my first pregnancy I'm not having heartburn now but what I do suggest that you do is drink some warm milk for those who are really really nauseous you can't keep down anything at all um, Try talking to your doctor about it. If he or she says to take vitamin supplements, I suggest that you do. Remember that you have a life inside of you. So it's not only about you, it's about the baby. Um, try to snack on things, healthy things like fruits, cheese, you know, stuff like those. And not pizza and burger. Even though you are craving for it, because, I mean, I am craving for it. <laughs> Um, but try and snack on the healthy things, okay? Um, I'll see you in a couple of days. Today's 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 Monday. So I'll see you again on Wednesday. Oh, I'm gonna post that video. The link will be right below. Will be right below. Um, I actually got um movements. <laughs> I actually got 21 weeks fetal movements in my tummy. I was lying down and um, minding my own business, 
and I just realized I'm getting a lot of kicks and punches there so I went and I grabbed my camera and I'm like I'm sure my mommy babies <laughs> my pregnant mommies would love to see this as well so I grabbed my phone the quality might be a little bit dark because I did use my phone so I grabbed my phone and I started videoing so I'm gonna post that right now down the bottom is the link so you can go ahead and watch that as well and you will see my baby moving <laughs> all right mommies bye